If you thought I was cute before, you should see me in a crown. Welcome back to Royal Fragrance, the best smelling channel on YouTube. I'm back in a new space. This is my new place where you're gonna see me film new videos. And what I wanted to do today was finally go through my collection quickly. Over the years, my collection has gone through all kinds of changes, a ton. I've sold a lot of fragrances, I bought more, but as of recently, I haven't really been buying a ton. It takes a lot for me to really commit now. And because I'm in a different space, I don't wanna flood it with too many bottles. And my whole philosophy going forward now is, if I get new fragrances coming in, I gotta get rid of some. I got three fragrances that I'm putting on the chopping block because I've gotten three new fragrances in the mail. So I'm gonna quickly go over and show you where I keep my fragrances, and then I'll announce the three fragrances that I'm planning on selling soon. RIP, boys. So I didn't quite have room for my wine cooler, but what I did do is get this cool little under bed drawer action going, and here is the collection. Now some definite downsizing occurred, but I still have a pretty decent collection of all the fragrances that I really like to wear. Oop, oh, wood. the cap's a little off. There you go. So it is organized in-house kind of order. We got some Chanel's over here. We got some YSL action. We got some Dior, some Aqua de Parma, my Creed, my cute little Parfum de Merli. Zerzhov. And as I mentioned before, there's a couple that are on the chopping block. These three. Why are they on the chopping block, you ask? Well, that's because I got three new fragrances in the mail that are pretty much going to replace these three for very similar reasons. Essence de Parfum, it's kind of a slightly aromatic cardamom fragrance that I really did like, but just kind of got old. Colonia, a gentleman fragrance, a bit of a powerful businessman fragrance, but I already have this, which is Asaluta. I like it more, so why would I keep the original? And then Abit Rouge Dress Code by Guerlain, which is kind of a rosy fragrance that I actually do quite like, but I always feel that I don't need a billion rose fragrances. It's not a note that I wear all the time. I think someone else will appreciate it more because it's kind of hard to find now. So let's talk about the fragrances that are replacing these in my collection. I've had those fragrances for a couple years now, and in the last year, I haven't even reached for any of them once. So they're going bye-bye. The good news is I have three fragrances that are pretty direct replacements for them. They sent me this really cool box of three fragrances in this very impressive packaging. I only have minimal wear with each of these fragrances, so I can't really go into too much detail on how good they are smell-wise, but I definitely wanna give them even more time so I can really get in depth with them. Maybe a scent of the week type of vibe. But what's interesting about each one is they have a very specific purpose. So the first one's called Every Day, and it's kind of an everyday fragrance. When you have no idea what to wear, when you're having a very basic ass day, Put on every day. That's one that's gonna replace La Mal Essence de Parfum as kind of a signature scent where you're just throwing it on. They both have that cardamom. They're both a little bit fresh-ish aromatic. So see you later, La Mal. Every day is coming in. Hopefully it's gonna last in my collection because guess what? I have a lot of everyday fragrances. Two Conquering is the second fragrance in this group, and it's kind of the CEO, businessman, super mature, fresh, zesty fragrance. It uses pepper, citrus, and oak moss. So Colonia is getting the ax because of this one. This is another sort of everyday fragrance for a more mature person, so I would say this is kind of a good office fragrance. <laughs> office for men. I can't help but make some comparisons here. With Fragrance One, their fragrances are just called where you would use them. Okay, office, date, unisex. <laughs> These ones at least are a little more creative in how they're put together. So two conquering, yes, it kind of is an office fragrance, but it also could just be an alpha mature CEO type of fragrance. It's a bit sharp and punchy and confident, which I do like. The third one is called Come Closer, which is kind of, I guess, the date fragrance. And that's largely because of the Turkish rose element in it, which is absolutely beautiful. It sort of has some similarities to how Lyric Man by Amouage is composed, where it uses citrus and rose together, but it is its own thing. And I think all these fragrances, they really impressed me because none of them really reminded me of another specific fragrance, which is good. So no clones here. One thing that I'm gonna kind of give them the zonk for is they mislabeled their own products. So on each bottle, it says Eau de Parfum, but they're actually like extract de Parfums. These are strong fragrances that are very dense with oils. So 
why not advertise that? <laughs> Why say that your fragrance is more diluted than it actually is? As far as I know, these fragrances just went on sale. They're a brand new release. They are pretty unique fragrances with really specific use cases, which I like. I don't like to be too creative of how I wear my fragrances. Now these are gonna be $150 each, wow. which is definitely at that premium price point. The good news is if you do get the full set, it's 300 bucks. So you're basically getting one of those fragrances for free. I really recommend the full set for anyone with perhaps a smaller collection that wants to make one purchase and have really an entire collection for all occasions. Two Conquering and Come Closer can be a great day and night fragrance or a work and a date fragrance. And then every day is every Every other time. All three of these fragrances got unsolicited compliments by my fiance, Leslie, so that's a good test as well. If you're already good to go to blind buy these before they sell out, you can definitely check out my link below for a 10% discount, or if you want to risk it and wait for me to do some more extensive wearings with these fragrances so I can give you more detailed feedback, then request which one you would like me to do a scent of the week video on down in the comment section below, because it's been a while since I've done that and I really, really want to. I want to end off by saying which fragrances are you thinking of putting on the chocolate? block and I wonder which ones I'm gonna sell next because they still want some new fragrances to come in but only if I can sell some of my old ones that I don't wear anymore and I suggest all of you guys follow that same principle try put a cap on your fragrance collection so you can really enjoy what you already do have you know what I mean okay that's the end of the video bye